I want to show you how to make epic animated logo intros in this video and show you the exact process, exact software and exactly where to even get the templates that I've used for some of the ones I'm showing here on screen. Animated logo intros really take any video to the next level. If you open every video with this animated logo intro, it just gives it instant production quality and makes it look professional. So I've used this across my YouTube channels from time to time. And I also use it through my video production company and open client videos this way. And I'm going to show you how to do this with pre-designed templates that are really easy to customize with your own logo because to design these at this level from scratch, it takes a long time. So sometimes a client will pay me or pay our production company to make him an animated logo from scratch with custom elements. And it may take days and days for an animator to get them what they're looking for. With templates, you could literally have a logo intro in less than five minutes. I'm going to show you where to get these templates from a platform called Imbato Elements and they are sponsoring this video and I get all my things for video creation through this platform. So from stock video all the way to music, it's an all in one platform. But for video templates, basically all I do is I go to video templates and I look for logo stings. Okay. You could search for logo stings and it's going to give you a ton of different options here. And if you hover over any one of these, it's going to show you how the logo is going to get animated. Okay. This is the template and there are lots of different templates. In fact, let me show you animated logo with smoke. That's one of my favorite effects that I use from time to time. And some of these, basically, if you again, hover over them, you could get a quick preview. So there's a quick preview of that. And I went through and I looked at a bunch of them to see which one is going to be a good fit for me. And some of them have a bundle. So you basically download one and it's going to give you a ton of different ones to choose from. So this is the one I found that I'm going to use. So let me just click it to show you. Basically, you just download this. Now you do need a subscription in order to download these templates. But again, you do get access to everything. So this is if you're creating videos is something that I highly recommend. And again, I've used it for years. So this is a really good, interesting fit for me for the logo I'm animating. So I'm going to go ahead and press download. And typically they'll get downloaded like this with a help file, a lot of times with a tutorial and with a project file. Now, just to be clear, you do need a software to actually use these templates. And typically there's a software called Adobe After Effects. That's basically what all animators use to animate logos. But you can get a free seven day trial of Adobe After Effects. That's a software made by Adobe. It's pretty complicated, but these templates and tutorials make it really, really easy. So I'll show you exactly how this works here. And I'll put a link to a free trial of After Effects if you want to try it out. So this is what After Effects looks like. And again, you don't need to know anything about the software because this is how simple it is. Typically, these have something called a logo holder. You just double click the logo holder. And over here is where you're going to drop your logo. So I already have my logo ready. So I'm going to bring it into this box from my finder window. Or you could double click this box and import it. And it has to be in a PNG format. So it just has to have some transparency to it, which I've done and I'm going to press enter. There's my logo. I'm going to bring it down here. It's going to add it to this box and I could actually go ahead and transform, meaning just to make it smaller so it's not going out and I could bring it down here to the center. OK, so that's literally all you have to do is bring in a logo with a transparent background. Now, if I go to render, so I just open logo first, then render double click. This animated logo is going to be ready. So if I press spacebar, it's actually going to render it. That process does take a little bit of time. But as you saw, I didn't do anything. I didn't do any animation. I literally dropped the logo. You do have colors you could work with. So if you click colors up here, there's FX control color where you could change the colors that you see in the foreground. Then all I did was go to file and then I went to export add to render queue. And that's it. I just press rendered and then I'll show you here on my desktop where I saved it. This is the clip right here. I'm just going to press spacebar. OK, so that was one of the smoke effects. I'll show you the other one here. That's another one. That's the one I just downloaded. 
And here's another one. And just like that, in less than 10 minutes, I created myself three high-end animated logo intros that I could use across all my videos, or sometimes use one and sometimes another one, and I'm ready to go for years to come, right? I didn't have to do really anything or learn After Effects, and I didn't have to spend hours designing one from scratch since I don't really have any design skills. So I hope you found this quick video useful. Again, link to everything is in the description, and I'll see you on the next video.